Assalamu alaikum readers. Today is a video for every Harry Potter nerd around the world, including me. Today's video is going to be Quidditch Through the Ages. This book was written by J.K. Rowling. She is, ve is best known for writing the Harry Potter series, which has won many awards and has sold over 500 million copies. Every Harry Potter fan knows that there is a magical school which only allows magical people like me and all the other subscribers, so you better go subscribe. There's a sport in Hogwarts called Quidditch. It is played on broomsticks and consists of various players and various balls. And they have to uh, score some points and stuff like that. We will get into more vi uh, details as we proceed into the video. A whole Quidditch team consists of seven players. Three chasers, two beaters, one keeper, and one seeker. Let me just tell you guys the balls of the games and then I will go back to the players and their roles. There are four balls, one quaffle, two bludgers, and the golden switch. The chasers have to try to score the quaffles into one of the three gold hoops while the keeper has to defend them. The beaters have an important job. They have a bat and they have to try to keep the bludgers from hitting their own teammates and they have to hit the blood, uh, bl bludgers towards the other team. The bludger is a self-moving ball and it moves really fast, it's really big and it hits you hard. The golden snitch is the most important ball and the seeker is the most important player. The seeker has to find the golden snitch, catch it or else the match won't end. Once in Quidditch history, a match went on for three years and sitting on a broomstick for three years is ouch. And there have been a lot of Quidditch matches and there are a lot of teams. Some of the teams are mentioned in the other Harry Potter books. The book is really short, only about a hundred pages long. This book mainly talks about how Quidditch was started, how it is played today and about the rules and regulations. Right now, I'm going to read my favorite part from the book, which are the rules itself. The following rules were set down by the Department of Magical Games and Sports upon its formation in 1750. Though so there is no limit imposed on the height to which a player may rise during the game, but he or she must not exit the pitch. The captain of a team may call for a timeout by signaling the referee. This is the only time which the players are, al are allowed to touch the ground. The referee may award penalties against the team. The quaffle may be taken from another player's uh, hold, but under no circumstances must one player take hold of any other part of another player's anatomy. In the case of injury, no substitution of the players will take place. The, the team will play on without the injured player. Wands may be taken onto the pitch, but must under no circumstances whatsoever be used against opposing team members, any opposing team members brooms, the referee, any balls, any of the balls, or any member of the crowd. A game of Quidditch ends only when the golden snitch has been caught or by mutual consent of the two team's captains. The reason why I love this book is because I'm a Harry Potter nerd and anything I see of Harry Potter, I take it. Of course, you guys can see my Harry Potter collection in the background. That's why I rate this book a 5 out of a 5. Until now, I have reviewed 6 books, including Quidditch Through the Ages. Comment down below which books have you read till now. In my next video, I'm going to be reviewing the best Harry Potter book in my opinion. Don't forget to go hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell, and why not even drop a like on this video. See you around! When the seeker has to find the golden ball, get a golden snitch, catch it, uh, find... Uh, sorry. Uh, today is a... Uh, 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 a bunda la caca!